Today, we're getting to the truth of stem cell therapy. The good. Dubbed the medicine of tomorrow. The bad. Many patients are left disappointed, frustrated, and in some cases. And the ugly. Even sicker after treatment. Whether you're just curious or if you're looking to get stem cell therapy to help alleviate joint pain or fix your hair like I did or for anything else, you're going to want to keep watching the rest of this video. Let's start with the good. First of all, there is a ton of high quality research out there and centers who are actually doing incredible work with stem cells. In my opinion, there is a treasure trove of research, both peer reviewed and randomized trials that I believe are incredibly impactful what could be used in the United States and elsewhere. Now, while it's still considered experimental, this overwhelming amount of evidence has led many different facilities to open through the country and also abroad. So it's important to know while there's a ton of good with stem cell therapy, and a lot of reports are being done based on case studies and patient testimonials on the effectiveness, there are potentials for it to go really bad and even ugly. Now, some of the bad stuff about stem cells is really just a lot of companies being deceiving. They're marketing PRP, they're marketing things that aren't really actually stem cells, and in the worst cases, they're not really giving you stem cells at all. For example, when it comes to PRP, you'd need a special solution to even extract a small amount of stem cells, which even if you do, they're the older stem cell kind and not the ones that are typically studied, which are younger and from the umbilical cord. All these different cell lines have many potential different effects that they can use on the body. When it comes to stem cells, it's the mesenchymal or MSC line that you really want. And not all centers are really giving this line or exosomes from this line. So how do we avoid falling into this bad category? First of all, you always wanna make sure that your therapy is being done by a board certified physician. Next, you wanna ask where the cells are coming from. Is it from my own blood, bone marrow, fat, or are they from umbilical lines? And the last thing, and probably the most important, is you wanna make sure these cells are coming from an FDA compliant lab. So a sterility and safety testing is being done in the lab to ensure that quality of that center is up to par. So where does it get ugly? Where it gets ugly are there's actually facilities that are doing dangerous things to patients where they're not qualified or not even board certified physicians, and in some cases, not medically trained at all. In other cases, they're using labs which are not even FDA compliant, which means the risk of infection goes up and the risk of complications skyrockets. And while this is kind of the wild west here when it comes to stem cell therapy, it's super important that you're well knowledge so you can avoid these kinds of ugly things. It's the wild west of medicine. Stem cell clinics targeting vulnerable patients with misleading ads that claim to treat everything from joint pain to diseases that have no cure. There are now over a thousand of these stem cell clinics across the US, some using unregulated stem cell treatments that may be illegal and in some cases even harmful. And so how do we avoid the ugly? with crazy infection rates, morbidity, and even death. The best way to do this is to make sure, first of all, that the lab is from a CGMP or FDA compliant lab. You can ask the facility you're going to to provide this documents or look it up online. The next thing you wanna do is make sure that you're actually getting this therapy from a physician and make sure that they have some type of board certification, which means that they have some kind of ongoing education requirement. And lastly, if you have any questions, you should always consult your own primary physician or specialist to help review all the material for you. So if you're looking to avoid the bad and the ugly, here at Springs, we only utilize board certified physicians and we always ensure that every cell we get comes from a CGMP approved facility. Lastly, we always do third party sterility testing and in addition to that, we make sure to use the cells and the solutions which are most effective. So if you wanna learn more about stem cell therapy and exactly how this works, you can go ahead and click the first link down in the description or you can go ahead and click the video on the screen right now.